We've all seen this scenario before. Policeman stops motorist for miscellaneous traffic offence. Motorist pulls over and policeman informs him of his offence. Then begins a negotiation. Given traffic policeman's reputation, many would expect this negotiation to end with a motorist's pocket a little lighter and a traffic policeman with a small bribe. But watch closely what happens. The motorist, seemingly tiring with negotiating with the policeman, tries to speed things along. He dips into his pocket. And to his surprise, the policeman pushes him away, refusing to take the bribe. This shocks the motorist, who, given his body language, now knows that he's not dealing with an ordinary policeman. His deep pocket strategy seems to have failed this cheeky motorist. Knowing that negotiating has failed, he gets aggressive, seemingly threatening the police officer. Our sources later tell us that he got on the phone with a senior police officer to force his release. Feeling confident, the motorist hands the good cop his phone, even smiling as he listens in on what he thinks will be a secure release. But when the conversation ends, the motorist is shocked to learn that he is in no better position than he was before he made his bribing gamble. So bad are things, it seems, that he goes into the back of his car for a drink of milk. The officer coolly refuses to negotiate. We later learn that this officer's name is Robert Jerma Robber. Robber makes a phone call which we learn is to a tow truck owner to take the motorist car away to an impound lot. Giving up on ever getting out of this sticky situation, the motorist first sits in his car, then gets his jacket and other belongings out of the car, waiting for the inevitable. The car is finally towed away. Incidents like this one, as well as others like this traffic officer, Emmanuel Wanje Mataza, assisting a Matatu driver to push his car while being the exception rather than the rule are true examples of the face of police reform in action. John Allen Amu, KTM Prime.